Why, hello everybody, this is Matthew here. I am drinking an absolutely disgusting can of seltzer water. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you know, I, I always have something to drink, but like right next to me on my desk when I <laughs> do a commentary, and today I just happened to grab um, a can of polar seltzer water. And I was going to try the natural pomegranate because it looked better than the cranberry lime seltzer water. Boy, <laughs> I don't think I could be any more wrong. <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting, but I still have to drink it because I don't want to waste seltzer water. I don't want to waste any drink. Actually, I don't want to waste any drinks in general anyways, but Beck to uh, talking about things about this commentary and things and stuff. You and you will notice that in desktop dungeons I have unlocked the serpent which they poison you <laughs> which I didn't really like. But I won this dungeon actually and I'm a um a um a human fighter I think or dwarf dwarf fighter it says <laughs> says it like right there on the screen and I don't even <laughs> notice it but anyways why was I gone for so long what why did I not make videos on a regular basis what what happened to me and why am I back now talking to you guys I I didn't die but I was at a family reunion very far away out in the middle of nowhere and I didn't bring my laptop so I couldn't even record anything so I just recorded this episode today like a half an hour before I started recording this episode you guys probably don't need to hear the specifics the, spe the, the specifics of that though <laughs> um, and it turns out that my worst nightmare came true at least in the sense of desk desktop dungeons as a game the dungeon boss is a serpent that was terrible. I was going to try to do a physical attacks to try and defeat the boss, but then I decided, you know, nope, I'm I'm going to find the burning glyph and I'm going to use it on him. Cuz I don't feel like dying. So anyways, back to things. I think my new com my new computer, I'm getting a new tower computer. I think my new tower computer uh was in today's the 8th was in two days ago, which is the fifth. But as I was out in the middle of nowhere with um, with my family at a family reunion, <laughs> there was no cell phone reception, so my dad couldn't call the guy we we're getting it from and figure out if they were in or not. And of course he called yesterday, but of course the guy wasn't there, and he didn't pick up his phone or anything, which really annoys me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have to stop staying up as late as I do because when I do stay up as late as I do, um, I end up going on Facebook and trolling the heck out of everyone. And I did get in quite a bit of a fight last night, but anyways, I I am being honest. The other person did provoke me, but I shouldn't have been as easily provoked. Oh well, his fault. Um, anyways, back to commentaries. Um, hopefully my dad will be picking up the new computer today. And hopefully it will be, it will be in here. Um, so, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was, um, actually, um, te sent texting, you know, text messages on my cellular mobile phone device, if you don't know what that is you old ge ge geezers. Um, I was texting one of my friends and it turns out that she likes Portal 2. So, well, not I'm not sure about Portal, but she does like Portal 2. And so that that's really inspired me that I have to save up my money and then go out and go, well, go to Steam and buy Portal 2 and then do some co-op with her. I might do a Let's Play on it. I'm not sure. Probably not, but <laughs> probably just it's like a kind of like a friend's fun time thingy but you can expect a lot more games once I get my new computer um I will be playing Minecraft 
expect Minecraft, folks, because I, <laughs> I, I will be playing that and doing a let's play of it, and also I'll be doing some Terraria since I bought Terraria, and I don't get to play it all too much. I play it on my parents' computer. I snuck it on there. Don't tell them. <laughs> um, and I play Minecraft on there. They know that I have Minecraft on their computer, but uh, their computer isn't really the best for recording. It has a good graphics card, but it has a rather slow processor, so not really the best for what I want to do. Hopefully the the tower that I'll be getting is um, at least dual core. My dad thinks it's um, a 3.4 gigahertz processor, but if it's just single core, that's not going to be very effective. That's not going to be very good, so... Uh, I don't think... Oh, I'm not sure at all, really. <laughs> of course, but if I am getting the tower, which originally the plan was for me to get a laptop, and then the tower would be for general use for everybody, but then I thought, you know what, I really want a solid and up easily upgradable and powerful... Oh, excuse me. Co powerful computing platform. So I'm going to keep the tower and I'm going to use my laptop. I'm going to keep my laptop, but I'm not going to do any record recording on it. I mean, except maybe for the occasional desktop dungeons or something like that. Maybe. I I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I will be using it for development. So expect game videos of games that I'm developing because, um, speaking of game development, actually, right now I am, well, not like right now at this second, I mean, I, I could be, but I don't want to <laughs> just overtask my laptop too much. But, um, I do, I am developing a game, and I do know programming languages. I'm not kidding you guys. This, I'm not, I'm not yanking your chain. This is not a joke. I do know programming, although a lot of children do, but, uh, I, I don't know. I think, I like to classify myself, uh, differently from most of the children who do do programming today because I, I don't really know. Maybe, I mean, of course, I don't know a lot of children who do do, uh, do do, <laughs> who do, um, program, so, kind of hard to say. Uh, my voice went really high there. Um, so yeah. And, and you'll notice in the video that every once in a while I get the good frame rate, but then other times I just, the frame rate count goes down drastically. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. Hmm. Might be something strange going on. But, anyways. Uh, I do play the game fine with, um, without recording, so there's something wrong with recording. Or it, it might be the recorder, or it might just be that I'm running the recorder and the game at the same time. Because, I mean, de Desktop Dungeons isn't too much of a resource hog, but I'm sure because I don't have a good graphics card, um, <laughs> that it doesn't run, that game, that the game doesn't run very well. And the pro my processor is actually fine. It's... It's a rather nice processor. It's about at the same speed with the lower end processors of the current times. Because, of course, this was probably like a really high end laptop back when, back in 2004 when it was there. And there we go, perfect frame rate again. Um, <laughs> uh, if only I could get that all the time. But, anyways, and I'm kind of debating things. Um,. I really am, uh, with like my new gaming computer and what I want for a computer and especially, especially, it's especially the fight between Intel versus AMD and AMD slash ATI versus NVIDIA. So, <laughs> and also the amount of RAM that I want, I'm, uh, I'm really not sure and hard drives and, oh gosh, bas basically every aspect of the new computer is I'm kind of debating on and spe and especially one of the things uh within I've kind of chosen AMD as my processor for the computer that I want to get but I'm really debating whether I want to get the 6 core the Phenom 2 6 core processor or if I just want to stay with a quad core processor cuz oh gosh I'm not really sure 
when like quad core processors are going to be outdated because they sure are going to be outdated soon and it also it seems like dual core processors are really kind of just being pushed to the back to the lower end of the the market because they're kind of like the lower end processors now but anyways sipping my terrible seltzer water <laughs> in a can <laughs> um anyways I feel kind of bad right now because I'm sitting here inside recording this commentary and it's sunny outside it's really nice and sunny outside but I usually don't have a lot to do outside so I I, I do spend extended periods of time on the computer which uh, I'm not really sure but anyways I actually I've been thinking about this the whole time I do have a thanks to give to someone and that someone is a user on YouTube named Acid Glow. I'm sure you can figure out his channel. It's just Acid and Glow in one word stuck together. You can go out and find him. And actually, in the fifth episode of Desktop Dungeons, he's uh, in the com he's probably like the only one who's commented. So, <laughs> uh, anyways, I'd like to thank him because he's the person who convinced me. Um, that I don't need the Machinima contract, I should just keep doing what I'm doing. And it's obviously worked for him because he has over 5,000 videos of games. So I'm Matt, and I'll see you in my next Desktop Dungeons Let's Play video.